So, doing a video on my more or less brand new Honda Recons 2250s that we just bought less than six months ago, so that makes them 2019, 2020s. Honda Recon ES and just a regular Honda Recon. So, I'm doing a video because I don't do videos, but I'm doing a video because I'm kind of impressed with what Honda's done. So for the most part, everything works fine with them. Easy operation. We bought the, the Honda ES for little chickadee here so she could easily operate it. It uh, is automatic. So start it up, sweetie. Very easy to operate. Turn it on. Take it out of, take it out of gear. And then, and then the gear shift is, show how the gear shift is. One, first, sack and down. Now, reverse is a little cumbersome. Do you think you can put it in reverse? Reverse is a pain in the ass. I don't think you can say that on YouTube. But the real reason I'm doing it is because I am impressed with, with Honda because of what happened with mine. So they're both the same 250s. Uh, I was making trails. We live in Tennessee. And um, I was making trails in the woods up that mountain there. And I had a little mishap. And before it went over, I jumped off and it rolled probably 50 to 75 feet. I finally got the handlebars put back up. They're not straight, but they work. Um, fender damage, of course. This and that popped out. It hit a tree, rolled over and over and over, end and end. And end. Damaged the back fender, of course. And then landed in between two trees that I had to pull apart. And then I subsequently pretty much trashed it. And then... I just happened to turn the key on and it started right up. So I don't typically do videos, how-to videos, YouTube videos for the most part, but I have to commend Honda on the 1990 or sorry, 2019-20s Honda Recons ES in the regular 250s. Uh, if Honda wants to sponsor me, hey, I'm cool. But that gives you a little synopsis of, of the, the quality build of the, of the, the operation of the machines real quick with no BS and no bias. Peace.